Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send any WordPress contact form data to the Google Sheet. So whenever someone fills up the form, it is going to send the data to the Google Sheet. Here in this video, I'm going to use the Metform contact form plugin. It is not only for the Metform plugin, you can use any contact form plugin which is supported by Sure Triggers. So I'm going to use Sure Triggers to connect your WordPress contact form with the Google Sheet. Here you will see the list of contact form plugins which are supported by Sure Triggers. We have Contact Form 7, Fluent Forms, Formidable, Forminator, Google Forms, Gravity Forms, Happy Forms, Ninja Forms, Metform, Pi Forms, Sure Forms, Type Forms, WP Forms. So all the well-known contact form plugins are supported by Sure Triggers. And in this example, I'm going to use a Metform. Let me show you how does this work. Here I have the contact form opened and I'm going to fill up the form. All right, so I have added some dummy content here in the contact form and I'm going to click on send message. All right, so it says, thank you. The form has been submitted successfully. And now what it is going to do, it is going to send the data to the Google Sheet. Let me open the Google Sheet. And you will see the data has been submitted in the Google Sheet automatically. Here I'm using Sure Triggers for this automation. Sure Triggers is one of the best automations for the WordPress website and you can connect your WordPress website with hundreds of applications. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can send the WhatsApp notification whenever someone places an order on your WooCommerce website using the Sure Triggers. I have also shown you how you can connect multiple WooCommerce websites using Sure Triggers. And I have also shown you how to install and use the Sure Triggers plugin to automate your WordPress website. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. Sure Triggers does have a free plan, so you can sign up for the free plan. In the free plan, you can perform up to 1000 tasks per month and you can connect one WordPress website and you can create up to five workflows in the free account. You can integrate 450 plus apps in the free account. I do have the pro account which is $9 per month and I can use up to 5000 tasks every month and I can connect 5 WordPress websites and I can create unlimited workflows. So if you are new to Sure Triggers, you can start with the free trial. I'll give you the link in the description box for the free trial. You can use my link and create a free account and start using the automation for your WordPress website. So let's see how we can send the contact form data from your WordPress website to the Google Sheet. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. To create a contact form, I'm using Metform plugin. And using this plugin, I have created this contact form. In this contact form, you will see we have the fields, first name, last name, email address, telephone number, and comments. Now we want to send this data to the Google Sheet. And for that, we are going to use Show Triggers plugin. In this example, I'm using Metform plugin. However, you can use any other contact form plugin which is supported by Show Triggers. Now let me show you a Google Sheet that I have created. This is a blank Google Sheet that I have created. Now first, let me name these columns. The first column will be for the first name then last name, then we have email address, phone number, and comments. All right, so these are the fields on the Google Sheet, and we have the same fields in the contact form plugin. First name, last name, email address, phone, and comments. All right, so we have the Google Sheet ready, and the contact form is also ready. Let's close this one. I have already installed the Sure Triggers plugin. It is very easy to install the Sure Triggers plugin. You just need to go to plugins, go to add new plugins. And here search for Sure Triggers. And this is the plugin that you need to install Sure Triggers. In previous videos, I have shown you how to install and activate the Sure Triggers plugin on a WordPress website. When you install this plugin on your WordPress website, it is going to link your WordPress website with the Sure Triggers account. So you need to have Sure Triggers account. You can create a free account. Here I'm logged into the Sure Triggers account here. And you will see all the workflows, apps inside the dashboard. And you will see the same dashboard on your WordPress website also. 
All right, so if you do not have Sure Tickers account, you can go to the Sure Tickers website. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to create a free Sure Tickers account. You just need to go to Get Started and create a new account. You will see an option here. If you already have an account, you need to log into your account. When you click on Create New Account, it will give you an option to create an account. You can create an account using your Google account or you can simply enter your first name, last name, email address, password and create a free account so here we are on the dashboard and first we are going to create a workflow so let's go to workflow in previous videos i have shown you how to create a workflow for the woocommerce order placed you can send customized email when someone places an order i have also shown you how to send the whatsapp message when someone places an order on your woocommerce website now let's click on create new and just add a name for the workflow I'm going to name it as contact form and Google Sheet. All right, so this is just a name of the workflow. Click on start building. First, we need to add a trigger. A trigger is nothing but the point when to start this workflow. So whenever someone fills up the contact form using the met form, this workflow is going to trigger. So here, search for met form. If you are using any other contact form plugin, you just need to search for that plugin. Here I'm using Metform, so select Metform and the select event will be form submitted. So this workflow will be triggered when someone fills up the form. So the event will be form submitted. There is only one event and uh, select the connection. Connection is nothing but your WordPress website. On my Sure Trigger accounts, I have two different WordPress websites connected. So I'm going to select this WordPress website and here you will see the option select form. And this is the form contact form you will see the name of the form here contact form if you have multiple forms it will show the list of all the forms so i have selected contact form and now it is asking you to trigger the form submitted event so what you need to do you need to go to the page where you have the contact form and you need to trigger the event that means you need to fill up the form so here i have the form open so i'm going to enter some dummy data here there you will see a specific time limit within that time limit you need to fill up the form and submit it and click on send message all right so thank you the form submitted successfully let's go back and you will see that the event has been executed and the data has been fetched it says we were able to detect the event and the data has been fetched you will see the first name last name email address phone number at the comment section all right, so all the data is fetched. Now click on save. All right, so the trigger action is completed. Now click on the plus sign and define the action that you want to perform after submitting the form. In this case, we need to send the data to Google Sheet. Before that, I'm going to add a delay of five seconds. So here I have one option here, add delay. This is available only for the pro. So I'm going to select the delay for, let's say five seconds all right so it will add a delay of five seconds click save i'm going to add another action that will be google sheet so let's select or search for google sheet you will see the option here select it this is the select event only one option is available add new row so you, we are going to add a new row select connection again we are going to connect our google drive so click on create new connection now from here, you need to sign in to your Google account where you have the Google Sheet. So I'm going to select my account and I'm going to log into the account. Click on continue. It will ask you for permissions. So select all the permissions and click continue. All right, so it says your Google Sheet account is connected properly. So we have connected our Google Sheet with the website. Now we need to select this one. Then spreadsheet. It will show all the spreadsheets which are available in the Google account. And this is the Google sheet where I'm going to send the data, form data. You will see the name here, form data. This worksheet, you will see only one sheet is there. Only one worksheet is there. You will see it here, sheet one. If you have multiple sheets, it will show the list there. You need to select the worksheet. We have selected the worksheet and you will see the fields are there. You will see it here. First name, last name, email address, phone number, comments. You will see all the fields here. First, here you need to add at. Now what we are doing, we are connecting the form with these fields. So first name, 
for this first name you will see the first name here so you can select that one again enter at then last name at email address at phone number and last will be comments all right so we have mapped the fields of the contact form with the google sheet click on test action all right so this is the response and i guess it is working properly now click on save all right so we have created a workflow now let's publish it and it is active now let's go to the contact form and I'm going to submit a contact form here. Let's add details. All right, I'm going to click on send message. All right, so it says, thank you, form submitted successfully. Now in this workflow, we have a delay of five seconds. So it is going to wait for five seconds. And after that, it is going to perform the next action of sending the data to the Google Sheet. Now, if I go to form data, it's more than five seconds and you will see that the data is added in the Google Sheet. This is the first data, which was the action testing. And this is the newly added data here. First name, last name, email address, phone, and the comments. Let me go back to form and try again. Click send message. It is submitted, wait for five seconds. And after that, it is going to add the data. And you will see that the data is added in the Google Sheet. So that means the workflow is working properly. Let's go back to the dashboard, go to workflows again, and you will see all the workflows here. How many times this workflow is executed? It will show it here. If you want to see the history, you can see the history. If I go back after adding this data to the Google Sheet, you can also add another action. Let's say you want to add WhatsApp, here you can send the WhatsApp message to the user after submitting the form. So there are unlimited possibilities using Sure Triggers. You can create any kind of workflows. And again, it is not only for the mid form, it is compatible with many different contact form plugins. So this is how you can send the contact form data from your WordPress website to the Google Sheet. And you can use this data to create a dashboard on the Google Sheet where you can analyze the data. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.